Oh, hello, gentlemen. It's your boy, back at it again. Priest TJ has returned. I've been receiving a lot of questions about what happened between me and the Christianity Hotline guy, which some of you may know about. For anyone that doesn't know, before I did the Omega streams in early 2021, uh, people knew me online for making Christianity Hotline highlights, where it was the best clips of me and some other people prank calling a Christianity Hotline. So one day I was scrolling YouTube looking to drop some dank memes, uh, when I came across a twink Christian boy with four viewers. And uh, as you can imagine, I called in and spiced things up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello? Hi, how are you? Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Cali from that one show. You know the one show? Yeah, you know the one show. How are you? Uh, okay, what are your questions? I'd, uh, like to sing you a Christian-friendly song. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Five, four, three, two. I know, you see, somehow there's a n hanging from my ch Folks. There was also his partner and best friend Gabe, who he'd also stream with. Alright, we'll go ahead and take in uh, Billy. Welcome to the uh, Christian A Hotline. Today, Hello. Billy. Uh, I'm sorry? Hello? Well, uh, welcome to the Christian A Hotline, Billy. Do you have any questions about Christianity? Hello there, sir. I'm just wondering your opinion on those <laughs> drinking banana eating, <laughs> drinking, <laughs> stealing, crown, and <laughs> feeling blank. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry? First of all, do not ever use that language. I what? done done diddle hoop the bombs gave it wham the whams gave it hoop the bomb gave it hey black. I done done. He sounded like he was off of Looney Tunes. He really did. Now, immediately, as you can imagine, I thought that this was the funniest shit ever. And as a kid, I'd spend my days watching the old Jesus chat line with Stephen and Richard. Rest in peace, Stephen. And at first light, please restore me to new life. Amen. Yes, sir. Do you think that might be helpful? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. But uh, I, I'm, I'm also a major. Uh, pardon me. I'm, I'm, I'm minoring in African American studies, or as I like to call it, neurology. <laughs> <laughs> This was my way of reigniting that, if you like, you know, it was it was my way of bringing back the edgy hotline prank calls. And if you do like edgy jokes, you should definitely search up Jesus Chatline Trolls on YouTube because they are fucking hilarious. So I built up this YouTube channel around highlights of these prank calls that me and other people would do to this hotline. And within two weeks, the hotline had went from four viewers to 400. And each stream, more and more people would get involved until eventually there was an entire community built around prank calling this one Jesus Chatline. And it was funny as fuck. Unfortunately, as you can imagine, the full highlights can't be put on YouTube. But for anyone who did watch it, knows that it was the funniest shit of all time. So over time, I had gone from that troll TJ who calls in sometimes to a good friend of the guy who ran it. So eventually, me and this guy had a little friend group on Discord. And on a daily basis, this guy would tell us things such as, If you ever masturbate, you will burn in hell for eternity. If you watch porn, you will burn in hell for eternity. These type of things, pretending to be the next coming of Christ or some holy spirit or some shit. So as you can imagine, when what you're about to watch happened, it really did blow our minds. And also a message to the hotline guy. Um, I do have undeniable evidence that you was behind the false anonymous tip that got my door kicked in for absolutely no reason in 2022. But I ain't no snitch ass bitch, so I'm gonna keep that to myself. You've had the past two years to come to me and apologize, but you haven't, so go fuck yourself. Is it your fault that the UK cops are incompetent and didn't do a single second of investigation into an anonymous tip and instantly signed off a blank warrant with zero evidence and somehow also got it signed off to a judge? Absolutely not. Is it your fault that the cops acted on their incompetence? Absolutely. So I'm not here to dox you or cause any problems. I am simply telling the truth. This video doesn't have his name or any of his information, but if he would like to reach out to me and apologize and pay me the 3,000 great British pounds that he owes me for the door, hey, I'm waiting for the DM. And remember, with this evidence of him admitting to being a part of this anonymous tip to the police, I could easily get this guy put in prison, but I ain't no bitch, so I'm not gonna do that. So anyway, fellas, Let's get into it, boys. I believe it was TJ now had come up with this elaborate scheme that I made gay porn and posted it of myself. And so they had signed my email up for uh, to a gay porn site, and I had received an email while I was visiting with Gabe. And so I was looking at my email, and Gabe caught a glimpse of my phone screen. I'm like, and he says, what is this? And he 
yanks the phone out of my hand and he shows the screen and he shows the screen to the people because we were in a Discord call at that time. No, 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 no. It's fucking bullying him, mate. He's taking his phone off. Gabe took Trookston's phone. No, 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 no. Trookston gave it. William, can explain why you still have the account? Gabe just said, Gabe, Gabe just said, explain why you have that account still. Oh my god, look at oh, his Look at his stunts. Jackson said it's a lie. Jackson said it's a lie. Wait, 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 let's see, 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 come on, let's see. <laughs> and so that's what that recording of me in the kit in, in Gabe's kitchen is about. Um, and then they had gone on to take it even further using that video as a base to then look up random porn images on Google, then they claimed that was me. It's just completely untrue. Liar. What the fuck? What? What? Where? What are you on about, con? Are you all good? What am I meant to be looking at? It's his workplace. Who's? Who's? Tugsden. They accidentally leaked it like a dickhead. What the fuck is Xtube? That's a porn website. And that was in his emails? What? Oh, <laughs> why just noticed? We? That's hardcore porn! That's hardcore Xtube! <laughs> 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 how, do we, how do we not notice that? I mean, he's fully got an XTube account. <laughs> Surely he must be joking with that. Truxton, mate. Truxton. Hello there, Truxton. Truxton. Hey, Truxton. Truxton, we need you to turn your camera on right now because we've got a little bit of a bone to pick with you, Truxton. Truxton, we have a little bit of a bone to pick with you, Truxton. Truxton, I need your hand on a Bible. No, right no, now. no. Truxton, Truxton, no, no, no. Truxton, Truxton, hello. <laughs> Truxton, you've got some fucking splain in a day, mister. All right, Truxton, do you care? Truxton, <laughs> <laughs> Truxton, please, would you review the picture in chat and explain, please? Evidence is in chat. Do you care to explain what's in your emails there, Truxton? <laughs> Truxton, do you care to explain? <laughs> <spam. laughs> <laughs> Jugson, Jugson, wait, what? <laughs> Jugson, do you care to explain? Enjoy free hardcore porn videos at XTube. <laughs> Jugson, you were like, right, so you did you want to like Jugson got fucking exposed, gun. Jugson. <laughs> Trucks and you need to fucking explain, mate. You know you can't get them emails randomly, Trucks, and you've got to sign up. You've got to register, Trucks, which means you registered. <laughs> you registered an account to XTube, Trucks. <laughs> I swear I didn't. <laughs> yeah, clearly, mate. Someone's pranking me. <laughs> some, someone got my email and signed it up to a porn site. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause they did, cause they did. <laughs> Fifty percent. Why is this in here? I'm joking. You know what you did, bud. <laughs> I don't have an account at this website. Someone got my email. <laughs> yeah, I'm close to it, buddy. This is a joke. And that's why you put up a sixty percent bonus, is it? <laughs> that's only for experienced people. Mm -hmm. This is this is ridiculous. Well, that's who only, did this to me? Active members, Truxton. You only get that email from active members, Truxton. Can I explain? Can Can what? Did, you did you did this, didn't you? Can, no, can, you have your email. No one ever has your email. I, yes, you do. You screen recorded. No, we don't. You had my e you had the email. Someone has my email. No, don't. 
Or what's the hotline email people caught, uh, kept signing up to stuff? Mm -hmm. The hotline was over a year ago, which means what, for the past year, you've been getting XGB emails and only just know it is now. And you haven't unsubscribed from them by clicking mm -hmm. the bottom of the email. I'm unsubscribing right now. <laughs> yeah, a year too late. <laughs> I guess it was a year two. I, no, I, I, I swear, I have never seen this in here. Chuxon, honestly, really not pleased with that, Chuxon. Really not this pleased. Is, one this, this is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, it is, isn't it, Chuxon? It quite yes. is. W why in the why did someone do this? I. <laughs> this is so. This is so ridiculous. Someone. Some... I wonder who could have done this. Who could have done this? Yes, I wonder who did it. I really do. I don't <laughs> understand. Who could have gone on my phone and started beating my cock? <laughs> Who could have done it? This is so... Oh my goodness. No. Chuxon, there's, there's no explanation, Chuxon. Yeah, I'm, there's, I'm there, there is no... No, there is no explanation. I don't know how this got here. I'm appalled. No, honestly, Chuxon. There, there's, honestly, I'm not there, even lying. There's, there's, no, there's no explanation at all. I, I have no idea why this is on my email. You're a complete hypocrite. Why are you talking to me? Why are you, a hypocrite. Why are you talking to me about masturbating? Why, why are you talking about me about masturbating to pornography? You do a 24... movies and gay XXX hardcore porno with anal... I... I... Big someone... Someone got my email and signed me up to this. I... I do not... I do not do this. Wait, waiting. Chuxon, I think you might... Have you got a gay account on it, Chuxon? <laughs> The boy's waiting, Chuxon. Chuxon, oh, you are... Wait, is that what it says? <laughs> <laughs> Have you told your priest? Yes, Master Priest. I've been wanking my cock to X-Tube, hardcore, big tits, big cock. Whenever, no, 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 no. Whenever I masturbate, I always confess it. I have not confessed oh. masturbating for at least five months now because I haven't. Yeah, I've been on a no-fap streak. Chuxon, you're lying to yourself, Chuxon. Chuxon, which means you're lying to yourself. I'm not lying to myself. Le intentional, yeah. intention, no, 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 no. Intentionally leaving sins out of a confession is, constitutes blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. That's an unforgivable yeah. sin. And that's what you're doing, and that's clearly what you're doing, Chuxton. So why, Chuxton? Why, Chuxton? I, I, I actually care. No, no, no. See, the thing is, I actually care about my eternal soul. So whenever I fall into mortal sin, I always make sure to be cleansed of it. All right. What does he keep banging on about? To be honest, if, if, if I if I commit an unforgivable sin, that means I'm fucked. Which means I don't want to I don't want to do that, do I? No, I don't. You just say sorry, Lol. I really didn't want to have to do this, Chuckson, but you pushed me to, to this. Yeah. You pushed me past the limit. Do you care to explain, Chuxton, why the XTube emails was in your email hotbox, Chuxton? Because someone made an account with my email. Okay, Chuxton, and why would they do that, Chuxton, if no one could see the account but yourself? Why would they do that? Most likely the reason why is they're trying to gather information and make a mass expose on me because they know I hate homosexuals. Chuxton, you signed up to that mailing list, Chuxton. And you know what, Chuxton? You know what you have to do for XTube? Haha, -ha. Guys, guess what I figured out before I just remembered. Are you ready for this one, guys? Are you ready? Kian? Kian? I'm Harry? Ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Uh, guess what you yeah. need to do to uh, get on the XTube mailing list? Are you ready? You have to confirm your email, Trugston. Trugston, you care to explain, buddy? You care to explain, buddy? That means you've got an email from XTube saying, please confirm your email, and you've clicked it. <laughs> Trugston, fucking explain now, Trugston. Explain this now. You have admitted a crime against the Bible. Trugston, exactly nothing but silence. We need the court music, please. Explain now, what? Now, Chuxon. Now, Chuxon. Yeah, Chuxon. Quickly think of an excuse, ain't you, Chuxon? Now, Chuxon. For an XTube account, for many porn sites, because of age verification, Chuxon, it will not let you into the site, including XTube. It will not let you into the site without a confirmed email address, Chuxon, which means you, on your personal email, have received an email from XTube saying, hello, username, please confirm your email address. And you've opened that email and clicked confirm email address, Chuxon. Now, do you care to explain how you've done that, Chuxon, if you didn't know it was a thing? Hmm? 
sometimes um, they can set up email bots where they can automatically do perform actions in it. No, Trugson. No, 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 no. <laughs> Please tell me someone else heard that. Someone else heard that, right? <laughs> that, 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 that sounded really autistic, what I just said. Trugson, I, I'm trying. I'm know. trying to. I'm trying to play it off because I'm guilty. Did you? Did you just admit to being guilty, Truxton? As a, as a Christian, I cannot lie. Tr so did you admit to using XTube to beat your meat, Truxton? For a time. How long of a time ago, Truxton? We need to get to the bottom of that. But I have. I haven't masturbated for at least a few weeks now. What? What did Truxton just say? I said it hasn't been. No, I said it hasn't been for about a few weeks now. What? Did you? In fact, TJ, can you and me go on a private call, please? Okay. You hear that? Yes. Okay, Chuckson. If you would um, if you would like to go ahead, I me and me and Mr. will take some notes. I um. I hope by the end of this meeting, we can learn more about each other in many ways. Okay, now, Mr. Johnson, would you prefer us ask you um, set questions, or would you prefer to just have uh, a long speech? Don't, don't, don't joke around. Just, just have a. I mean, don't, yeah, don't. Don't, okay. don't be like, don't be like, Mr. Johnston. Would you care to explain? That? I don't do that. Okay, Mr. Johnston, would you just like to go ahead and just. The just speak nor just speak normally. There's no need okay. to have for no there's no need for the you know for the fucking Mr. Johnston. Would you care to n n none none of that? We're just talking. Right. Mr. William, would you prefer me and Mr. Spitz to ask you base questions, or would you prefer to just base. speak on your own? Uh, well, I'm I'm well, I'm the one that's being pressed. So you would you do what you want to do, Mr. Truxton, Mr. Truxton, you did ask us to get into a private call. So we're in here because. There was a screenshot of my phone screen where you, there was an uh, email from a porn site. Mm. And so we're in here for uh, to have an explanation as to why that's there. Homosexuals. Porn. Ethan. Yeah. This is a fucking serious thing. Sorry. I need to take a seat. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Johnson, if you would. Ethan, Ethan, please keep a professional, uh, a professional, what's it called, uh, uh, demeanor about you, please. Okay. Mr. Johnson, if you would proceed, please. I'm taking notes. That's the explan. That's you asked for an explanation. That's no, right. I didn't hear it. I just, I just gave it. I'm taking notes. No, you, you just said we're in a group chat. No, I said we're in a group chat because. There is a porn email in my screenshot. Okay, and, and we're here to. And we're here like to, to. Would you please care to explain why you have told us for the past five months that you have not bust a nut, in which you have been busting many nuts over the course? To protect my reputation. But Mr. Johnston, because Mr. I, because I, because I have kept the facade. Your reputation is about being Chris honesty, Chuckston. Your reputation is about being an honest Christian man. Mr. Johnston, yes. just Wait, because so you beat your meat, and and just yes, you beat and, your and meat. part of. And part of me being a Christian is that I cannot lie. And eventually, if you, if you, the, the Bible says that whatever is hid will eventually be seen, and that's coming to light. Mm -hmm. And so I can no longer keep the lie going. And as a Christian, I must come clean. Mr. Johnson, can you please explain why that account was a gay account, Jackson? Can you please explain it's why it's not that, a gay account? The email only had men in it. Chuckson and the email title was "Don't keep the boys waiting." Chuckson, that is under a gay account. I get, I get, a... I get, I no, no, no. I, I get a mix of emails. Sometimes it's women, sometimes it's men, sometimes it's mixed. That no, one Chuckson, just that uh, that, that, that one that means, one just Chuckson. that one just happened to me in the wrong at the wrong time. Now William, now William, what that means is that when you've signed up for that account, you have put "I am a male interested in female and male." Yeah. Because sometimes, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure you're familiar with the setup. I have most thousands upon not uh, of nuts, tens of thousands, in fact. And Mr. Johnson, I can't say I've ever got homosexual thoughts. Well, that's because did my mic cut out? 
No. <laughs> Mr. Johnston. Explain what? M m I have never, um, I've never had homosexuality thoughts. Elf, wolf. That, that's, that's a momentous achievement. Well, well I never. Mrs. Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Would it be over the, the, the uh, 1,000 mark? Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Mrs. While masturbating, have you ever received homosexual thoughts about another man? Not really. I never have the thoughts when I'm masturbating. It, so what, it's post-masturbation? No, pre. Mm -hmm. Don't say pre, you'll get me excited. Wait a minute, wait a so no, no, minute. No, 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 it, it's, no. The majority of the time, it is after. You but sometimes I get, but sometimes I get it beforehand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you've had these farts hundreds of times, Mr. Johnson. No, 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 not, not hundreds of times. It's only How been, it's, it's, it's only, it's only been in this, it's only been in this, this past, you know, I, I, I would think when the COVID lockdown started, I was in, I was, I was back in, you know, back in my early <laughs> high school days, back in my, back in my, before, back in my pre-Christian days kind of stuff. That's how bad it was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, it, no, uh, it's not as, it's not as, it, it, I, I, I can, I can, no, it's, it's certainly not as bad, it's certainly not as bad as it was back before, mm -hmm. it's certainly not as bad as it was before, mm -hmm. I'm, back before I was are a you Christian. Saying, are you saying that before you was a Christian, you used to get homosexual thoughts? No. So the homosexual thoughts you're getting are post-Christianity? Post-Christianity. So after the court case, we decided to do some more investigationing. Okay, and we looked back at the kitchen video, and if you freeze frame it, you can actually see that his interests on the Xtube account were dominance slash discipline and fisting. So as you can imagine, we had to dwell a little bit deeper. Before I go on with this, it's about to get deeper. 15 inches deeper. There's another frame here from the kitchen situation where his account said sexual orientation gay. Uh, by the way, hello English government. Um, I just want to clarify that I am not a tech um, and this is simply me showing someone's hypocrisy. This same guy would tell us that if we masturbate, we will burn in hell for eternity. So we freeze frame it again, and we see the username on the Xtube account. And, uh, we Google this, and, um, we find some videos of him sitting on some, uh, some purple dildos in the same room that he did the hotline streams in. The same background, the same chair, the same desk, the same crosses on the wall. So as you can imagine, we was pretty gosh darn shell-shocked, my dudes. We do some further investigationing into the dildos, and we find out that they are known online as dragon dildos. So let's just do a breakdown on the size of these bad boys, okay, gents? I've got the measurements of said accused dildos here, and, um... Jesus fucking Christ. The total length was 14 and a half inches. With seven and a half inches of girth. Now, I've measured this, my dudes, and it turns out that this is the same size as my keyboard. He had this in his ass! This was in his asshole! What the fuck? English government, YouTube, just want to say I'm not hating on this guy for this, each to their own. I'm just saying that I personally think that that shit would have fucking hurt. A am I even allowed to mention this on YouTube? Is this classed as, like, self-harm or some shit? Because that's fucking huge! Now, I'm not one to judge, okay, my dudes? I've done some silly things in the past. But one thing I can say is, I've not had a Corsair keyboard in my asshole. And I am only doing this because, remember, he broke a federal law and got my door kicked in for zero reason. Now, after finding all of this nonsense on Google, um, I had to call his co-host, Mr. Gabe, just to get a professional opinion on these videos. You know what I'm saying? Gabe, can you confirm that's Trucks in the house? That's his carpet. <laughs> but here's him confirming it even more. So the picture of you, oh, Spread Eagle, on. on your carpet, that's you. Who else would it be? <laughs> oh. Now, shortly after this, very conveniently, my dudes, it came out that his best friend and co-host, Gabe, was also gay, and he dropped this apology video. 
I want to keep this real brief and simple, but also sincere. I am sorry that I've had gay sex with a man. I'm sorry I sucked his dick. I'm sorry I had sex with him, anal sex with him. I'm sorry I, I, I did all of them. Now, at this point, after all the lies, we obviously had a couple problems with these fellas, and we hadn't talked to them in a while. Now, one day, Gabe calls me, and he says that he has to confess something. He shows me a bunch of fucking dick animals that he kept in jars. <laughs> what the fuck? I told her put the money in the bag and nobody gets hurt. Now give me your shoes, you fucking bitch. Now I'm running real fast. Now I'm running with my- Now someone in the group instinctively contacts Gabe's dad, shows him these screenshots and says, why the fuck is your son keeping a bunch of de animals in jars? The dad says that he'll deal with it, and shortly after, we find out on Google that Gabe had been arrested for dating his pet cat with a machete. What the fuck? Here's a public article that I found on Google. Uh, I'm going to blur his name because I don't want this kid getting attacked. It says, outside of the home, uh, Gabe told officers he gave his cat some type of drug or narcotic which made the cat old. Then, Gabe moved its head with a machete and with its body. Gabe allowed officers inside his home and brought them free jars, which had several animal body parts in them, including the cat's head. <sighs> what the fuck? But yes, after being sent the undeniable evidence that he was a part of the false raid on my house, if he had came to me and apologized to me about the door situation, I would have forgiven him, because it's the past. And I do forgive him. I don't hold any ill will towards anyone in the past. What has ever happened between me and people in the past, that's in the past. I've moved on, I've grown up, and I'm a new man. But I do think that this video is at the least justified after the trouble he caused me. No one should target someone and get their door kicked in for zero reason using the incompetence of a corrupt government to do so because they got butt hurt that some things they did and posted publicly online got exposed. And by butt hurt, I quite literally mean butt hurt because I bet that shit hurt so fucking bad now i'm gonna measure this really quick okay my dudes let me just hold this keyboard let me just holy fucking shit that's the size of my whole fucking torso what the fuck i don't want anyone who watches this attacking any of the people in this video and in retrospect i laugh about the entire situation i do forgive everyone involved an apology would be nice cunt but I'm not mad about it. The police should have received that report and immediately dismissed it. But they acted on their incompetence. So yes, my dudes, this has been Priest TJ. God bless you all. And I will see you all next weekend for another banger. God bless. Take care, my dudes. Amazing! Amazing.